station KLDS with your up-to-the-minute breaking news from the scripture for the last 3,000 years. Our top story has been the disobedience of the infamous Adam and Eve. Because of their sampling of forbidden fruit, they have been banished from the garden. Banished! That seems a little harsh, doesn't it? Well, um, they were told what would happen if they partook of that tree, so they knew the consequences for their actions, what, would, what they would be. They are lucky they didn't have to spend any jail time. Well, it seems like it's raining ca cats and dogs. It has been raining nonstop here for several days now. Do you think that guy, what's his name, Noah, might have might be right about all this rain? Someone told me he's building an ark. On the other side of the country, we have been seeing dry weather. So dry, in fact, that a family named, well, I don't know their last name, but their parents are Lehi and Sarai, went on vacation with their family into the desert and haven't been seen for over two months. I have no idea where they are. Back to you, Emma. I heard something about them heading to the promised land, wherever that may be. Well, it's spring, and you know what that means. The Spring Milan Fashion Show! Here's Bailey, our station fashion guru, with the latest report. Thank you, Emma. Wow, it's amazing how fashion changes so quickly in this country. Last year, as you remember, all the designers were really into the whole Pharaoh Cleopatra look. But as but the prominent designer Moses and his firm of Israelites have changed the whole look to a bohemian shepherd look. It has taken off to the point that some of those designers that were hanging out to the Pharaoh Cleopatra look were seen chasing after Moses and his company to try to steal some of his ideas, or were killed by a freak boating accident when the lake suddenly went dry. So all of you that want to get into the latest fashion, pull out your bathrobes and wear them to work or school. Back to you, Emily. <laughs> just received a new flash. Nephi, Laman, and Lemuel have just been seen leaving Jerusalem with Mr. Laban's personal valet in tow. That looks similar to a bowl with a lid on it. It is airtight and can be used on any body of water in the world. The most amazing feature on the, of this boat is that it uses no electricity. So it is environmentally friendly and is powered by its by the water itself, but contains high-powered stones that are called the Heavenly Father touched these stones for light. It's just incredible the amount of light they put off. They expect to be in full operation as soon as all of their boats reach the promised land. Thank you for that fascinating report. I can't wait to see them. Now here's Natalie with the sports. Thank you, Emma. Have we got some interesting sports for you tonight? Daniel has been having a rough year with the king not accepting his philosophy and training by including prayer as part of his pregame routine. So the king decided to pit him against the Lions in their den for home. Bets were placed in a staggering amount that Daniel would lose to the Lions who had the home court advantage. The game went on all night. All of the spectators went home to bed but returned early the next morning, sure that they were going to be winners. Daniel's few and faithful followers were greatly pleased to see that Daniel had won the game. They became the true winners that day. In other sports, Nephi, the famous archery legend, has come up against some rough times lately. He was demonstrating how to use the bow and arrow to his family when his bow snapped in two. The family was crestfallen to see that they would not get to use his bow and would not be able to help with the family's food supply. But Nephi, being the resourceful man that he is, used his talents and the Lord's help and was able to come up with the new and improved compound bow. Well, as you can see, it has been a busy day here at KLDS, the scripture station. Please join us again to hear the latest on your favorite scriptures. Good night, everybody.